nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then, we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Been a long time, Snake. I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. It all went down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, 
Donald Anderson, and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. They're both being held as hostages. Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike, and stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about the situation. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. So someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report back. Sounds like a spy movie. What's the insertion method? Well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the U.S. government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by Kodak. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. Seems like a million miles away. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? The 
because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. A person very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War, and since then I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's what I trust about you. It's what makes you human. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. All right. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. I want complete disclosure at all times. And two, I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? I'm not a Colonel anymore. Just a retired old warhorse. I understand, Colonel. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, even at sub-arctic temperatures. Nanomachines? Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Uh, now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your Codex batteries charged up. Well, I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. Chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DARPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL? Permissive Action Link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. 
But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL? Permissive Action Link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to eat nails and ask for seconds. I wouldn't expect anything less from Foxhound. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases, and at the same time, add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. One of the greatest soldiers ever? The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. That's right. We've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes. And his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You people are amazing. And then you're gonna transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. 
It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons of Big Boss? Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer Heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called Next Generation Special Forces should be called Simulated Soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Video game players, huh? Don't forget they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. High-Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, Master of Disguise. Vulcan Raven, Giant and Shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. 
His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Uh, the details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Pretty shocking, huh? His skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? I don't know the details. But it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. I can see it in your eyes. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists.
What was that noise? What was that noise? This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go.
Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Thanks to the VR training I did on board the Discovery. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed.
There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. What can I do for you, Snake? Snake, remember what the Gaul said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. 
But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. What can I do for you, Snake? Good luck, Snake. What is it, Snake? Talk to you later, Snake. What is it, Snake? Come on, Snake. Don't call me for no reason. camera? base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon.
Donald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Action button to drop down. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it.
Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Damn cold? I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. 
First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist! Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a PAN card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. 
As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <laughs> what is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? I know. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot!
Who are you? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. What can I do for you, Snake? Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it.
Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No. No, don't touch it! C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver.
You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So, the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Uh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No. Not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. 
What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark Little Secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. 
It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Be careful, Snake. The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah. And on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case?
In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him. You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. 
But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there.
careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. more mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Minefield, huh? Don't forget to use your mine detector. When you find out where a mine is, crawl forward and try to recover it. What's up, Snake? Good luck, Snake.
Charles, I hope you are happy. He got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. What can I do for you, Snake? Snake, like Shakespeare said, not had all spent, while our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. You're incredible, Snake. You single-handedly beat an M1 tank. No big deal. But I'll bet that VR simulator you trained on didn't have any scenarios that put you one-on-one -on -one against a tank, did it? No, but there was no scenario where I had to work alone with a special forces soldier against a group of terrorists either. In real life, things never go the way you expect them to, especially on a battlefield. I'm already holed up in the Warhead storage building. It looks like Dr. Emmerich is still fine, but I'm not sure for how much longer. Hurry up this way, okay? People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. Snake, you've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich, the Metal Gear engineer. He's probably being held prisoner in the second floor basement of the Warhead Storage Building. absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? 
That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake.
snake. Watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile.
Snake, you can't use the radar because something's jamming it. And whatever's doing it is very close to you. Be careful. Be careful, Snake. like they were cut by some type of blade. It's, it's a ghost! Ugh. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again.
Zanzibar. What? Not again! What's happening? It's Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Ah. 
How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn! S -s Damn! <sighs> I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. 
Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later.
still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Codex system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. He used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake.
Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's 
strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? What? What is it? What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. What? What is it? What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. What? What is it? What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. Come here, Snake! Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Mr. Foxhound, the commander is waiting. What's up, Snake? Mei Ling. How did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the US Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. And those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field.
Not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out.
Your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So... You used the other... I... I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind 
that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels kind of Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. 
So, tell me, Snake, what's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. What are you staring at? <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. There be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me.
Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar is working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? What is it, Snake? Mei Ling, you said that you wanted to become a pilot. Did you take an aptitude test? Well, I've got bad eyes. I probably didn't know it, but I'm wearing contact lenses. So you failed your aptitude test, huh? Yeah. It's ridiculous. We're not flying around in biplanes anymore, you know? That's right. Today's pilots fly jets that go several times the speed of sound. Exactly. At those speeds, the naked eye isn't that useful. You need sophisticated electronics to see what's really going on. So, is that why you developed your radar system? Yeah. I wanted to develop a radar system that would help soldiers make better, more informed decisions. So your radar shows what's really going on, huh? Mm, it depends on how you interpret it. Like beauty, truth is in the eye of the beholder. You can say that again. Snake, Metal Gear is in an underground base to the north. Hurry! It looks like Meryl's okay. Thanks, Snake. Snake, there's no time left. You've got to hurry up and get to the underground base. You need to make snap decisions. In war, the difference between living and dying is counted in milliseconds. Me they want. 
Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No! My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. I... I... I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. Meryl! Damn! Snake, it's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. <sighs> I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. <sighs> okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. so you can shoot back at Wolf. It's the only way to save Meryl. Sniper Wolf is Foxhound's best sharpshooter. Everyone knows that women have more patience than men, but Sniper Wolf can go for a whole week with no sleep, no food, but the sights never strain from her target. And on top of that, she takes diazepam so her hands never tremble. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing.
Otacon, where is there a sniper rifle? Well, there's a PSG one in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar.
got a PSG-1. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl.
snake you sold a ton radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I'm sorry. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. We don't need a rat trap. We need someone to stop that goddamn nuke from getting launched. Snake, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling? Something you ate? No, I'm serious. Like a premonition or something. Snake, it's all up to you.
move! It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my... special prey. Got it. mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you. You're all I think about. Take him away! day I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after thirty long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance. Don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? 
I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief! Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed twelve men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? You're not. That's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. But if you want her to stay that way, you better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem, then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto-fire, or I'll know. I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Had enough yet? We're not finished yet!
You still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA chief? Whew. What a stench. decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear? Secret advanced nuclear weapons research? Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Stark II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case... Tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? 
Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the Chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, here we go. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Enough yet? We're not finished yet. You still okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? A strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. 
He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? 
I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I, I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're alright. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Please, Nick, don't give up. Snake, that's a prison cell. You can't open the door from the inside. Somehow, you'll have to get the key off the guard. Yeah, but how? Why don't you try disappearing? Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. 
It's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? Who wanted it? Besides, some people just need killing. That's patricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. I'm here! Where? It's me! Otacon. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Let me go, that hurts! Hurry up! Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go! Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell! Because of him. Yeah, it's the Derpa Chief! You don't hurry up and get me out of here. Huh. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait!
What is it, Snake? The Chinese say it is the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It is because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You are probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. Planted in your items. Hurry, throw it away! Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough.
bomb out of your items. Select the bomb in the equipment window and press the circle button to throw it away. Hurry, throw it away. Throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here.
What can I do for you, Snake? There's a Chinese proverb, the mind cannot be in two places at once. Make sure that you're not thinking of something else during the mission, okay?
save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake, about Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake.
right, I totally forgot. Do you know something? That door sometimes gets frozen shut because it's so cold outside. Next time, tell me beforehand. So what should I do? It's impossible to open from the inside. They always used C4 or something from the outside. From the outside? You can't open it from the inside? Sorry, it's impossible. But don't worry, you'll get through. There are two walkways that connect Tower A and Tower B. The other one's on the roof. You should just use the walkway on the roof. Cold snake? Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Old time is still a flying, and this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. Snake laughter is the best medicine. You should be happy you've got enough free time to play a game. Enjoy yourself, okay?
Emoticon. I'm up on the roof. That was a pretty fast climb. I wanted to go slowly, but someone there forced me to move faster. Oh. Well, you can relax, because there's an elevator in Tower B. That walkway will take you to Tower B. should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. away from the wall. While you're away from the wall, press down on the directional button to drop down. If you jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from the hind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. Snake? In Paradise Lost, Milton wrote, Solitude sometimes is best society, and short retirement urges sweet return. Is that why you came back, Snake? You got tired of your short retirement in Alaska, huh? Come <laughs> on. 
Shoot! It's me! Don't shoot! It's me, Snake! Otacon, how'd you get here? 
But it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom, even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, uh, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. You caught Snake? The proud man does not eat rotting meat even when hungry, nor steal water from another's well when he thirsts. But on the other hand, you were forced to steal or find every item you've got, so I guess I shouldn't say that.
Liquid is still hovering around the roof of Tower B. He's waiting for you. Snake, it's time for you to take him on. You're gonna go after that hind now? Yeah. I can still hear the sound of its rotors. It's just circling the tower. He must be waiting for you. Yeah, well, you won't hear it for much longer. Good. In the meantime, I'll fix the elevator so you can use it later.
Elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. You caught Snake? Don't forget to save your memories of me, too. Can't save memories, even on that system of yours. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them through the air, they're not memories anymore. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds, between the picture. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to say what I'm thinking right now? I can't save that type of thing. You have to put it into words, at least. That's right. And that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. You did it, Snake! You shot down the Hind! I was so worried. Liquid couldn't have survived that. I wonder. But even so, just because we've taken out their leader doesn't mean they're gonna give up. They're still gonna try to launch that nuke. You're right. There's no time to waste. Hurry! The underground base is past the communications tower. The elevator's working again, isn't it?
Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake! Now die! Are you okay? Otacon, 
Were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please! She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start.
waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You, you cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a card. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A card? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield, raised on a battlefield, gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day, driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale at some price or another, but you're different, untamed, solitary. You're no dog, you're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. Like you. You're a hero. Please set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone 
is here now. Oh, okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. Sad story. We shouldn't have turned our backs on the Kurds after the Gulf War. Listen, we're not responsible for her choices. Everyone decides their own fate, no matter where they were born. Words like fate, karma, it's just an excuse for giving up if you ask me. I don't agree with you. Maybe if she hadn't been born on a battlefield, she might have had a happier, more fulfilling life. She might not have turned into a killer. In China, they say, it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. Master. You and I, we're nothing more than dogs, are we? That's not like you, Snake. Don't let what Sniper Wolf said bother you. Listen, there's not a soldier alive that doesn't question himself. And if there is one, he's nothing more than a murderer. But someone like Wolf, a soldier who's looking for nothing more than their own death, is no good to anyone either. Once she started to look for death, it was all over. That's how you'll end up too, Snake.
What can I do for you, Snake? In China, they say, the snake knowing itself strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but Snake, believe in yourself. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. 
Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. End of the road for you. Right, my friends? <laughs> Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> But that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. it must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words.
subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? 
Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy. So I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. <laughs> Naomi wasn't acting strangely or anything? No, I just can't believe that Naomi's an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake.
just me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. in soon. I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. 
Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer.
Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place... Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Beryl. She's alive. Snake, I 
found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the President was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs>
Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox Die. 
Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, fox die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. What is it, Snake? Snake, Leo de Rocher said, win any way you can. Nice guys finish last. What about you, Snake? Is that what you think? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to stay alive? You should think about that, Snake.
Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox... No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages, they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? 
Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake?
thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off, but Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Something. Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. 
Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! You should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah. will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. <laughs> Stop it!
front of you. I can no, I can't do it. After Zanzibar, I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally no good. End. I can't do it. you into dust!
sleeping late as usual. A snake? Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born! But... You and I aren't his only children. What? The Genome Soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the Genome Soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers, with the same genes as ours. The G 
genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-sarin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool! They're a complete failure! We are on the verge of extinction! What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you! Meryl! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed, they've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. 
How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. The President ordered this? The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Have at you, Snake! Have at you, Snake! No! 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 No!
Torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. That's my Kodak. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Merrill, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? 
Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? He's... He's... Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Hurry! Mm, looking good, Snake.
you okay? Yeah. Just a little shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! He's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. 
He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. It's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. 
What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life.
You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox dies should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity. But he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus, what should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. Thank you.